advocates for the deceased first. Mm -hmm. uh, families come second, but our job is to be the advocates for the deceased. And we take and uh, uh, try to find family. Uh, if we can't find family, then they uh, wind up going as uh, what we call county disposition. And after 30 to 45 days, their remains go to the county uh, morgue uh, crematory. They're cremated and then we hold their cremains for uh, two and a half years, two to two and a half years. If we still don't like, locate family, then they're put in a common grave. We have a ceremony once a year with the, uh, the un unclaimed bodies. We get probably in the area of over 300 John and Jane Doe's, uh, a lot of them homeless, and we're able to positively identify about it, all but about 10%. And we always keep uh, samples and a bone and, and send in for DNA. If somewhere down the road we uh, uh, are able to identify them or find next to Ken. It's kind of a play on words to try to figure out, are they really homeless? Or are they just on a, a walking vacation for or so? Or, or they're, they're maybe dealing with mental issues or or family issues and they want to separate themselves. The cases that really bother me are the young people. When you find that the kids have died and have no place to go and, and then you go to some of these encampments and you find, you know, a mom, a dad, maybe dad isn't working and he's just dealing drugs and mom's trying to make a living, taking care of three or four kids and they're sleeping under an underpass and there's a death there and you see these kids, it's like, you know, we're not some third world country. You know, why, why can't we do something? 